welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko, at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Hello, good evening. Greetings to all our viewers here at CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges. This is Evelyn Sonko, and I'm with Topi. And uh, this show is brought to you by Mahalta Resorts and Convention Center in Mindoro. This is also brought to you by the UST Alumni Association of the College of Nursing and the UST AAI. Topi, hello, good evening. Hi, ma'am. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning to everybody else as well. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Bridges on CBRC.tv. How was your meet? How was your week, ma'am? It's, it's been a beautiful week. How, how are you, ma'am? Well, siempre no, lagi naman ako busy. And of course, so <laughs> siempre marami pa rin ako sinusulat. And ngayon checking ng papers eh, marami ako ng check. How about you? Kamusta naman ang weekend mo? It's been pretty good, ma'am. Um, actually, we've been keeping busy because right now it's we're halfway through the year nga naman. It is the first yeah. Sunday of June. Okay, so six months to go. Tapos 2022 na. But aside from that, um, the shops kept me busy because right now it's also the ongoing uh six six mega sale. So uh, yeah, the, it's, it's it's been very busy, thankfully. Okay, now alam mo Topi, ano eh? Uh, next week na yan, di ba? It's our oh, Independence ano. Day. Ah, yeah, wano. Yeah. Makikita mo na naman, maraming mga Philippine flags around. O, di ba? Kaya hindi natin nakakalimutan yan. But tonight, we're going to talk na naman about uh, something that will uh, cure the body. Uh, mapapakinabangan natin ito. It's gonna be about management of pain, relaxation. Alam mo ba yun? Acupunk. Acupressure. Alam mo ba yun? Acupressure. I've heard yeah, about yeah. it. It sounds very interesting, ma'am. Um, yeah, yeah. Very exciting to hear what's, what's going to be happening. And I, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to learn more about this. Yes, yes. You know, I've heard a lot about acupressure. Ako nga, I've been trying to, to apply it to myself. Kaya lang, of course, hindi naman ako ganun kagaling. No? Now, Topi, would you like to introduce our guest so that we can My hear more about acupressure? Absolutely, ma'am. My pleasure and honor. Our guest for today is a nurse by profession. She gradually developed herself in the science and practice of acupuncture as a volunteer, a resource person, a lecturer, and a practitioner. Today, she's affiliated with Zusanli Acupuncture and Wellness Center as acupuncturist, clinic clinician and ear acudetox specialist by practice. She's also a board member of the National Certification Committee for Acupuncture or NCCA. Please welcome joining us today on Bridges.tv. Um, on screen, please welcome Miss Maria Rosario Cherry Tan. Hi, Ma'am Cherry. Good evening. Hello. Good evening po, Ma'am Evelyn and Sir Topi. And good evening, Good morning, good afternoon to all our viewers and listeners. We are very happy, Chari, na you found time to be with us. No? Alam mo, marami kaming alam na narinig tungkol sa acupuncture, acu acupressure. You know, these are terms, terms that we have heard many times. And we really want to know something about it. Ang maganda kasi, yung acupuncture, you can do it at home, di ba? That's why we are able to do healing at home. Alam namin yun at naririnig na namin yun. Yung ba, meron ba yung relationship sa traditional Chinese medicine? Can you enlighten us on this? Okay, thank you po, Ma'am Evelyn. Actually po, acupressure po, uh, uh, we can do at home. And you are right, it is part of traditional Chinese medicine. Oh. Um, 
I'm emphasize ko lang po that it, what we are going to share tonight is not an alternative to your medical regimen but as a complement na po sa ko ano po yung advice sa inyo ng doctor ninyo. So I'm going to uh, just give an, a brief introduction lang po about traditional Chinese medicine kasi baka naman po yung iba ngayon lang nila narinig yung traditional Chinese medicine. Po. So I'll just give a, a brief background as uh, as to what traditional Chinese medicine is. So, okay, so para malaman natin, no, yung in general, ano ba ito yes, na po. connected naman siya sa acupuncture and acupressure. Yes. Yes po. Okay. Uh, po next third slide po. Okay, so ayan po, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, it is a complete medical system po practiced in China thousands of years ago. And dun po sa, actually sa caves in the provinces of China, they discovered this stone. Ito pong nakikita nyo sa slide are actually modern stones na, no? Yung Bian stone po, talagang bato siya. And usually it is pointed on one end and blunt on the other end. These are used to cut the pus, para po palabasin yung pus, and to press some points in the body. And this practice is usually at that time po, uh, during the ancient time, it, is, it just stays within the family. Po. Unlike today, there are many schools uh, in traditional Chinese medicine and practice all around the world, po. And, mm -hmm. oh, po, ayon. So, kita tayo yung mga stones na parang niro roll sa sa katawan ganyan ba yan, Charlie? Ah, uh, yeah, meron pong ganon kasi ginagamit din pong pang pressure. Hmm, I see, oh, I po. see. Okay, po. Alam mo yung topi. Um, it's kind of familiar. Parang nakikita ko sa uh, when I hear stone sa katawan, parang naisip ko yung nakikita mo sa spa, yung mga hot stone massage, yung mga uh, Pero I I think there could be more than uh, like there could be more than just what I'm thinking, and <laughs> that's why I'm listening. Um, yes, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, po. So yeah, ano ko lang po yung concept. Ano ba ang concept ng traditional Chinese medicine about health and illness? So uh, next slide lang po tayo. Okay, so the Chinese believe po that within the body, okay, there is a vital energy or a life force called qi, okay? And this qi should flow unimpeded in the body through channel pathways called meridians. And another central idea po is yin and yang. These are the qualities that, that describes qi po, no? Yin and yang in Tagalog is init lamig, okay? These are op opo, these are opposite forces. They are opposite, but they are complementary. They cannot exist without the other. Para pong araw, gabi. Ganun. Oh, wow, yeah, yes, yes. Opo. Para sa so that, balance siya, kumbaga. Yes, dapat may balance. And also the flow of chi should be unimpeded. So pag may blockage, or merong imbalance in your yin and yang, this will result to illness. Mm. Kaya yung symbol laging ganyan. Balance. 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 That's the key word. Balance. Opo. I see. Opo. Okay. Yeah. So, ano po ba yung nagkukos ng imbalance or blockage in the flow of chi? So, next slide po tayo. Ayan, there are several factors, no? We have external factors. These are wind, cold, heat, dampness. Para po itong outside or this is uh, the external environment because the Chinese believes na uh, yung pong outside environment has an effect in the internal environment of the body. Like during summertime po, di ba may nahi heat stroke? Yan. O yan po. O kaya pag natulog kang nakatapat yung electric fan, pag gising mo sa umaga, may stiff neck ka na. Ah, ganun ganun po. Oh. Yes po. <laughs> Yun. O kaya pag nagbabiyahe ka, nakatapat sa'yo yung aircon, minsan magbe-bells palsy. Oo, oh, 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 mag-ingat ka po. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat hindi po nakatapat. Ayan. And then there are also internal factors po. These are emotional factors. Emotions are good. 
But if it is excessive, it can also cause an imbalance or blockage in the flow of chi, like too much anger, mm. yan po, no? or prolonged gr grief. Yan po. Mm -hmm. So, okay, parang, then, parang ano yun, na affect ka ng internal and external environment mo. Yes, uh, po. Okay, yeah. po contribute yun sa pag, ano, pag, uh, yung hindi magandang flow na chi, ganun ba yan? Chi, yes, okay, po. Okay, yeah. right. Uh, okay, meron, actually meron po ako isang patient, ganyan, uh, pagdating niyo sa akin, nagkikwento pa lang siya, nanginginig na siya <laughs> sa galit, ganun po. Oh. So, noong una, wala naman, pero mamaya, as I assess the patient and nag inquire ako, nag na, nagbe-build up yung anger niya, tapos mamaya nakikita ko, nag-shake na siya. So, I ha already have an idea kung ano yung problem niya. Ganon. Okay. And then we have... That's really interesting, ha? That's interesting. Yes, po. And then we also have lifestyle. Siyempre, ano naman po ito, overstrain, stress, ganon po. And then other factors, this falls. Ito po, nagpo-fall yung COVID-19, yung pestilence. Ayan po. Okay. So makakatulong din yung acupressure doon sa... Uh, pag-heal, no, ng may COVID-19. Tama ba? Mga yes, po. Mga pressure points. Okay. Sige. Yan pala ang ibig sabihin nun uh, ng Chinese uh, traditional medicine. That's the whole concept. Okay. Yes, po. Yeah, yeah. All right. Nako, ang ganda niya, no? no? Now, we, <laughs> we, we can uh, uh, imagine kung paano yan. Tsaka nakakagawa tayo ng concept map, concept map ngayon about the, chi yeah. the Chinese traditional medicine. Okay. Yeah. And so, Topi, meron ka bang tanong? Yeah, actually, um, I'm still taking it in it, pero it is true though that acupressure does help in handling these situations. You know, one of the things I noticed, external factors, internal factors, lifestyle, dyan pala nakakatulong na yung acupressure. Like, um, You know, I don't have any exact, I don't have any exact examples, pero internal factors like, kunwari pala, so kunwari pala, nung college student ako, at pagkausap ko yung, pagkausap ko yung crush ko noon, at alam kong hindi niya ako gusto, kaya pala nanginginig ako noon, kasi hindi pala balancing chico. Now it all makes sense, sulit na ang diploma. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, Sophie, pagkadi naman gusto ka, Meron ka rin nararamdaman. Oh, Imbalance din yan, ma'am. <laughs> Chi din ba yun, Chari? Chi din? Oh, oh, Opo. Oh, basta, oh, oh. Opo, basta your emotions, pag excessive, yun po yung hindi maganda. Ayun pala yun. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. So, so always, always keeping it balanced, kumbaga. One of the things I did was learning, was deep breaths. Eh. That kind of helped me compose myself before to get rid of yes. nervousness. And uh, there could be many ways to do this. Pero, ma'am, before I, we, we go on about this, alam ko meron din tayong acupressure. Iba ata yan. Oh, sorry, acupuncture. Iba naman yan sa acupressure. So, ma'am, ano po bang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Okay. So, ang difference kasi ng acupuncture and acupressure, well, budun muna tayo sa similarities, no? Uh, they, ang basis nila or the foundation is traditional Chinese medicine. They use the same points and the meridian system. But mm -hmm. in acupressure, we use the fingers, we use the thumb, or we use a blunt object like this one. No? Ayan. Uh -huh. So, blunt yun dulo. Okay? Uh -huh. So, pinipress natin yung, ayan, pinipress natin yung point. All right. But in acupuncture we use needles no and these needles are kasi thin lang ng ano natin ng hair okay so wag wag ring matakot sa acupuncture no sinapakaliit lang napakanipis lang ng needle niyan but and also acupressure you can yung kumbaga kung wala ka naman training you can still do it at home this is self treatment no it's a natural treatment but acupuncture This is done by a professional and trained acupuncturist. No, hindi kailangan properly trained. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. So, pero yung acupressure, pwede mong matutunan yan, kagaya mo yun. Baka later, makakapagbigay ka ng tips. Eh, ano talaga yung nature ng acupuncture? Uh, acu- acupressure. acupressure. Kasi okay. yun yung pwede natin gawin eh. Yes, ah, tama po. Sa mga viewers natin. Ano yung nature niya, Charlie? Okay. So, ito po ay, it's a natural method of healing. And hmm. by, ang ginagawa po natin is we press a specific point of the body. Yung sinatawag po nating acupuncture point or acu- acupressure point. Okay? These points has a therapeutic value. Ayun po. So, it helps us balance and harmonize the systems in the body. Ayun po. So, iyan pa'y parang pain management ba yan? Nakaka-booster ba yan ng immune system? Meron bang ganong effect? Ayan. Uh, yes po. Uh-huh. Napakaraming benefit ng acupressure. Pwede po tayo sa next slide. Next slide. Ayan po. So, these are just a few of the benefit po, no? So, aside from overall well-being, aside from being inexpensive, kasi ano bang gamit mo? Yung fingers mo lang, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. It also strengthens the immune system. It is a good pain relief and cal- it has also a calming effect. In Western medicine po, okay, when you press a point, ito po yung mga nangyayari. It's, it promotes the release of glucocorticoids, hormones, neurotransmitters, endorphin, serotonins. So ano po itong mga to? Uh, ang effect po niyan, it is anti-inflammatory. It has an analgesic effect. It has a sedative effect. And also, it boosts our immune system and accelerates for the healing process. Kaya nga, complement ito doon sa ating medical regimen. Ayan oh. po. So, yung, yung mga sinabi mo, mga hormones yan, kapag ka na-press, na-press yung tamang point, merong mga hormones na ma-stimulate, ganun ba? May mga glands yes, po. na na-stimulate. Yes, po. Ah, yes, I see, I see. Ganun pala yan. Akala ko sa veins yan, hindi pala. Sa hindi veins, yes. Ah, uh, meron din po siyang effect in a way because yung pati po na yung uh, blood flow is oh. maganda rin, gaganda rin po ang uh, daloy, kumbaga. Ah, okay. In other words, na-affect niya yung circulatory system. Ganun ba yes. yun? Yes oh. po. Not only the circulatory, reproductive, digestive, neuro, um, yun po. Mm, I see. Okay. Yes? Yan yung mga benefits niya, Topi? Yes, yes, um, absolutely. You know, um, you know, and you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, one of the things I'm noticing. Para ito din ba yung sa spa, Ma'am Jerry? Ah, sa spa. Ito yung massage, kasi ito eh, no? Mm-hmm. Yung uh, ang common kasi sa spa yung Swedish massage, okay? So in a way, ang similarity niya sa acupressure is that it calms and relaxes you, no? But um. Do, and in a way, meron din siyang healing kasi, you know, you sleep, you relax, pati yung muscle na re-relax. But acupressure may target point ka rito in, and may effect ito sa internal organs of the body. Ayun. I see. So, para e, ito, uh, sa spy na re-relax ka. But there is also, uh, pwede rin yung hilot eh. Diba? Yes po. Para yes naman po. Nahihilot ka din. And then they say, pag nagpapahilot ka, gumagaling ka. Naalala ko noon eh, yung anak ko, pagka nilalagnat siya, they tell me, dalhin mo sa hilot. And then the mm. hilot would do something, ihilotin siya sa isang part of the body. And then you know, the fever goes away eventually. Ah, pareho ba sila ng ano, acupressure? Uh, in a way po siguro, kaya gumagaling kasi habang hinihilot na dadaanan din po yung mga meridians and along those meridians are acupuncture points kaya po nahi-heal din po ang ang um, sa massage meron din pong healing effect maganda rin po ang massage maganda rin po sa chinese medicine meron po meron din pong uh, chinese medical massage 
Ganun. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Oh, na-experience mo ba na ba yan, Topi? May Chinese I'm medical actually, massage? I'm and actually then, only heard that now. Huh? Ngayon ko lang po narinig yan. Ma'am, Cherry, what is a Chinese medical massage? Okay. Uh, the foundation or basis is also traditional Chinese medicine. Ang tawag po rito is Tuina. T-U-I-N-A. Yes. It's a Chinese medical massage targeting the uh, pressure points. No, Pero like massage, sa massage po kasi meron yung mga haplos hilot, ganun po, di ba? Uh, sa Twina, meron din pong mga techniques. Meron din mga techniques. But ang gagawin mo doon ka sa meridians and doon ka sa acupuncture points. Uh-huh. Or when acupressure you, point. When you say meridian, ito yung nasa likuran natin? Yung okay. na These are uh, channel pathways po. Ano? Uh, uh-huh. these are Similar po ito sa uh, blood vessels sa uh-huh. lymphatic system and uh-huh. uh, sa mga nerves na makikita mo all throughout the body. But she uh-huh. is energy. Which, but she which is energy. So, through, which, which so these are energetic the, pathways po. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So the meridian, the meridian is the, the pathway. Okay. Yes po, ng chi. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Meron tayong difference na acupuncture and acupressure. Mm-hmm. Can you explain that, uh, Ma'am Chari? Ayan po, like I said earlier, so uh, we use the same points. In acupressure, we don't use needle. In acupuncture, we use needle. Training, hindi po kailangan talaga ng, uh, you know, like, uh, I mean, may, may training din po sa acupuncture pressure pero like ngayon pwede po akong mag-share ng mga points that the people can yung ating viewers they can do it at home po ang yes, acupuncture naman yeah yes, yes. oo kailangan ng training ayun po so pa, yan paano natin i-apply yan ngayon okay so meron po tayong mga guidelines no how to do acupressure so alibawa sa location remember nag heal tayo. We want to boost our immune system. We want to heal. So, dapat hanap tayong location na relax no? sa part ng bahay. Yung relaxing. Di po ba? You can add music na calming. Okay? Uh, there should be positions of comfort. Pwede kang nakahiga. Pwede kang nakaupo. Okay? Uh, gano ba kabigat yung pag-apply mo ng pressure? Okay? So, dapat it should be between pain and pleasure yung mararamdaman mo. Okay? Between pain and pleasure. And it, you should press it for about 3 to 5 minutes. And along with that, as you press, nagre-relax breathing ka. And then you can do it 2 times a day. But if you think you're gum- coming down with something, then up to 3 to 4 times a day po. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, meron... Meron din po tayong precautions na dapat i-observe. Ayan. So, never treat on full or empty stomach. Huwag pong busog na busog. Huwag naman gutom na gutom. Okay? Remember ang... Yung nagbibigay ng acupressure. Huwag siyang gutom. Yung, yung ginagamot. Yung, yung tumatanggap. Yung, yung tumatanggap. Okay. Opo. Okay? Kasi po, uh, remember, we are manipulating the chi. Baka pag minsan baka himatayin po or mahilo. Ayan. So marami pong, may mga ganyan pong cases. Bihira naman na uh, sa mga medical missions, hindi nila sinasabi. Pag tatanungin namin, kumain po ba kayo? Mga, minsan, akala kasi nila itong mga, parang simple lang ito. But meron pong effect talaga yan. It is really a medical or a healing treatment po. No? So trim din po yung nails natin wear loose clothing okay and um wag po tayong magpe-press sa uh, abdomen if one is pregnant or mm. one has medical conditions yes, okay yes. yeah and importante rin po uh drink warm yung mga warm liquids lang po after the treatment don't drink cold drinks no kasi yung flow po ng chi na inyong in-stimulate 
eh baka po mag-stagnate or magkaroon ng stasis yung hindi siya magpo-flow. Ayun po. Uh -huh. I see. So, Sir Tofi, gusto mo bang malaman and Ma'am Evelyn kung ano yung mga acupuncture points na pwede pong mag-boost ng immune system? Sige nga, yes. this sounds interesting, Ma'am. Yes. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, so meron po akong mga pre-repair na uh, some points no, that our viewers can do at home. So number one, oh. ito po, yung LI4, iyan po, these are the designations given by the World Health Organization. So which means accepted po to by the World Health, accepted and recognized by the World Health Organization and uh, the National Institute of Health. Hegu is the pinyin name or the Chinese name. And ito po yung joining valley, yan naman po yung English uh, description ng LI4. Okay? So, number one po, ito, yung ating sa kamay. Okay? Anta, yan. So, dito po yan between, may, mayroon pong bone here, di ba? Second metacarpal and by bone dito sa gitna. Yan. O kaya yung fleshy, yung flesh na paano ba yon ayan ay ayan ayan yan yung medyo flashy yan focus natin ano? si Chari may focus ba tayo diyan pwede natin so, spotlight si ayan tama ka Sir Topi yan tama ayan so ah ayan ito po. All yes right. so i-press po yan you can do your ito po sa thumb ay ah, yeah, or yeah. So, Sir Topi, may nararamdaman ka ba? Parang masakit na masarap. Yeah, exactly. Dapat, you know. Yes. No? So, Ginagawa ko ito a... dati, masyadyante ako. I remember this. Ah, talaga? Okay. Pag napaparaming note-taking nun, sabi ko, magganto-ganto kaya ako ng konti. Oh, yes. Maganda yan sa mga trigger fingers, no? Mag ano yan yung mga, mas sumasakit yung mga fingers mo. But, mm -hmm. but, but, this is a command point for the head and uh, the face. No? Oh. And this is, opo, at magandang analgesic point din po ito. So, ano ba yung mga yon? Example natin yung uh, sakit sa ulo, sakit sa ngipin, mga may Bell's palsy. Ayan, maganda po yung uh, point na yan. And then ano, another point, ah yes po. Ano yun? Ipipress mo siya, how long will you press it? Uh, okay. Paulit-ulit ba? Ganyan? Okay. Press it for about 3 to 5 minutes po. Oh, I see. Okay, so pareho pong kamay, press naman. Wala namang ano yan. Di naman, pwede namang yung dalawang kamay after ng isa, then yung isa naman po. Okay. Ayan. Okay, or you can use, sabi ko nga, a blunt object. Press nyo yung ganyan. Yan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after, and then you, after, after three minutes, you release. Ganyan. Oh, oh, oh po. Pero if you think na parang ay napapagod na yung finger ko, i-release nyo lang po ng konti to rest your thumb or your finger and then press again. Okay. And then next point po. Okay. PC6. So yung kanina is the command point for the face and the head. This one, PC6, itong ano natin, ayan. So, three fingers from your wrist. Okay? So, sa dulo nun, that is your PC6. This is the command point naman po sa chest area, sa heart, and sa epigastrium. Ayan. So, kung meron kang palpitation, may chest pain, heart pain. Yan po. GERD. Maganda rin po yan. Ano? Oh, sa so GERD. Maganda yan. Apo. Ano yung gaganyanin mo lang? Gaganyanin mo lang. Apo. Ipipress lang po natin. Aha. Yan. Ayan. Ipipress po natin ganyan. Apress lang. Press nito. Opo. Ipipress like po. Like that. Oh, yan. Okay. You don't move. You don't move the finger. You just uh Keep on steady with that. Opo. Yung iba po, ginagawa nila, they massage. Okay? Ah, Ayan. So, okay. pwede po rot i-rotate lang nila. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so, ayan. 
kaya ko rin po isinama to. Ang isang maganda kasing pampabus ng immune system natin is a good sleep. No? So ito po sa mga may insomnia, anxiety, depression. So maganda po itong uh, point na ito. Maganda rin po to sa mga sumusuka. Yung pong mga buntis, mga... Meron po, ano ba yun? Yung first to second week ng kanilang tri, uh, pagbubuntis. Di po ba merong uh, nagsusuka sila na nausea and vomiting? Maganda po yung point na yan. Okay. So how many minutes, minutes do you press that? How many minutes do you press that? Ganun din po. Three to five oh, minutes. Three to five po. minutes. Okay. I see. So that will be good for the heart. Insomnia. For... Uh, anxiety, so anxiety, uh, depression, palpitations, yan palpitation, po. yan. Yan po. Okay, so next point po, tat, lima po ang pre-repair ko. Ha? <laughs> okay, and then we nice. have also oh, po, uh, another one that is very good in bu boosting our immune system is lung 7. So, ito naman po, at the back of your hand, Maglagay lang po kayo ng two fingers. Ayan, ayan. Two fingers. Meron po ritong point. Ayan. So, yung iba po, ayan. Ito lang. Okay? So, i-press po natin yan. Okay? Ayan. Sir Topi. Ma. So, um, maganda po yan because it strengthens the lungs. Okay? So, mm. di po ba? Pag... Pag halimbawa nahamugan ka, naulanan o di ba sabi, yes. sasabihin natin ng sasabihin ano, maligo ka na kaagad o wag kang magpahapog, di ba? Kasi unang tina, mamaya kasi sa gabi pa lang or next day mamaya sisinghot-singhot ka na or medyo ehem ehem ka na. Press <laughs> that. Maganda po itong ano na to. Yan sa mga common colds, yan po maganda. Okay, and then next one po Yan, stomach 36. Ito po ang pinaka maraming research. Stomach 36. <laughs> sa Why mga... stomach ang tawag? Why ah, okay. is it stomach 36? Okay. Uh, 36, yeah. Okay. Yun pong mga meridians natin, okay, uh, they are named on the organs na tinatarget po nila. Oh, I see. Okay, so there are... 12 meridians na paired and meron po sa gitna na extraordinary na isa lang. Isa sa harap and isa sa likod. Ayun po. But mm -hmm. uh, kasi po, konti lang yung time natin kaya <laughs> ayun, yeah. hindi natin yeah, masyadong yeah. na ano. But this yes. one po is the command point for your digestion, no? digestive system. So masakit ang tiyan, nagtata, yun, may diarrhea, May constipation, my GERD, oh. maganda rin po yan. No? Okay. Sa tuhod? Maganda rin po sa tuhod. Yes po. Kasi, ayan, so nakikita po may knee, meron po tayong parang dimple dito, ang tawag niyan is knee eye. Hmm. Uh -huh. Opo. So from that eye, maglagay po kaya ng apat na fingers and then just beside the bone is the point. No, yan po yung point. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's so, for the stomach. Opo, it strengthens the immune system as well, no? Nakita niyo po yan nakalagay diyan, it's leg 3 miles. Okay? Um, yeah. kasi maganda po ito sa fatigue. Okay? Yung mga di po ba yung mga may cancer, mga anemic, madali silang mapagod. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Kaya yung mga sa sports, yung mga tumatakbo. So, mm -hmm. ang problema dyan is fatigue. Yeah, ang sabi yeah. po, in Chinese medicine, sabi po nila, pag kapagod na pagod ka, and then tinus tinusok yan, or in-stimulate mo yan, makakalakad ka pa three more miles. Oh! Really? <laughs> yes po. Okay. And then the last one, ayan, that is Liver, ang tawag po niyan is liver 3 or great rushing. Ito naman po is located between the big toe and the second toe. So, slide nyo lang po pataas ng konti. There's a dip there. Yun po ang liver 3. Malakas po itong point na to, no? And 
this is very good naman sa mga, ayan po may nakalagay dyan, temporal headache dito, but maganda rin po ito sa, pag may headache ka dito, vertex headache, maganda uh -huh. rin sa depression, mga PMS, <coughs> maganda rin po yan. At saka hypertension. Ano? Do you, nanotice mo ba? Nanotice mo ba, Topi? Do you notice that the command point is far from the from the pain that you are experiencing? Yeah, no? Imagine mo. That one is uh, on the knee or near the knee. And then it's about your stomach. Diba? And then the hand is something to do with your with your head. Uh, Talaga makikita mo yung yin yang balance na ma'am. Yes po. Tsaka mas malayo, mas distal to the problem area, mas malakas po. Ah, I see. So that's the reason why we try to look for the pressure point and that pressure point will release a uh, hormone or stimulate the gland and uh, try to, you know, um, Ma we are able to manage the pain by uh, exerting pressure. Pero hindi yes, naman po. masyadong hindi naman masyadong matindi yung pressure na oh, ina-exert natin. Naman, dapat are, po, are, hindi siya pain. Between pain and pleasure. Pag pain, oh, iba oh. na po yun. Baka galit sa inyo yung ano. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kasi, but you can do it on your own. Kaya lang medyo yes. baka makakapagod yun, ano? Pag ikaw yung hindi gumagawa, na mapapagod ka din. Ah, oh, hindi naman po kasi, alibawa, nakahiga ka lang and you're just pressing it. Di po, yeah. ganyan. Yeah, yeah. You close your eyes and then intention po is also good, ano? Kasi parang iniisip mo at the same time, uh, okay, gumagaling na yung aking uh, yeah, headache. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Meron ding reflection, no? Nagpo-concentrate oh, ka din so, dun sa pinagagaling mo. Ay, Topi, yes, there might be some questions ah, about our our topic today. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go through, I should go through our comments first. I think Madam may reach out to our friends from our audiences. Um, let's go through this one by one, but at least we'll see that. Um, from Teresita Meir. Hello, Team Bridges. It is a very interesting topic. Good evening, ma'am. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, also want to say good evening to Ma'am Mabel San Juan, and of course to Ma'am Ida Tionko. Also says, let us learn from this episode and heal from home. Um, also saying good afternoon and good evening to Pinky Tolentino Sangalang and to Miss Ali Labora. Good evening as well. Uh, we have a question coming from Ma'am Rowena R. Castro. All right. Good evening. Can this help when you find it difficult to go to sleep? Nakakatulong ba ito pag nahirapan ka ba matulog? Ma'am Cherry, go ahead. You want to answer? Uh, yes, po. Uh uh, katulad po nang na-share ko kanina, you just press, kasi nga, di po ba, sabi natin, it has a calming and sedative effect. So, pag uh, prinest nyo po, yung kaninang shinare ko, yung PC6, yung dito po. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then, stomach 36. Yung kanina, stomach 36. Press, okay. Ako, uh, yes. Makakatulong po yun. Okay. Mm -mm. Nakatulog ka na eh kapag ka pinrest mo dito. <laughs> eh, maganda Rowena rin po yung you. maganda rin po ma'am yung uh, Ma'am Rowena po, oh, yung combination yes. po ng uh, LI4 and also liver 3. Ang tawag po rito is open gates, okay? It means na magkakaroon po ng smooth flow of chi. Kaya mm. mas maganda po yung tulog. Tapos siya add niyo yung inyong PC6. Mm. Wow, wow. Interesting indeed. M more in the comments, I'm going to take a look at Sir Donald Cruz. Sir Donald Cruz has a message to you, Ma'am Sonko. Uh, hello, Ma'am Sonko. Thank you for organizing these forums. So good and informative. Oh, also, welcome, Donald, and welcome to the show. From, from Miss Marie Pe. Hello from USD Atelier Alumni Association, Inc., USD CAFA Advertising Batch 81, Tribong Uste, Green Gems, and Lakaran Blues. Um, Ma'am Teresita Meir also says she's watching from graduate school alumni. And warm greetings from Quezon City, according to Sir Fernando Pedrosa. And um, I think Ma'am Teresita Meir was also asking the same question earlier, how we, how we get, uh, how do we get good sleep from this? Uh, it's, 
PC6, right, as mentioned earlier. Um, last few in the comments, um, Henry Tenedero says, really nice, uh, really nice to go back to the basics. Thank you very much for the lectures. And our very own Claude Despa, sorry, Claude, <laughs> Di Claude Despa. there you go. Um, we have yet to meet Claude, but um, th uh, you know, thanks for tuning in, Claude. Hello, Bridges. Interesting episode as always. More power. Take care as always to Claude. Um, saying good evening as well to Danny Vibas. Uh, and of course, to Miss Margaret Lavadia. And okay, um, also saying hello to our friend Rol Minte. Greetings from Tomasinong Bicolano. And last but not the least, we have a question. All right, we have a final question coming from one of our audience, Maureen Pickering. Um, Pick, Maureen Boyos Pickering. Um, where should I press to relieve headache? Thank you. Ma'am, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so you can really, uh, you can press uh, LI4, yung kanina natin dito, the mm -hmm. fleshy part, okay? And then combine it with liver 3, yung sa paa natin, yung first and second toe. Sa, yan. So, yan dalawang yan, i-press mo lang yan for 3 to 5 minutes. Mm, wonderful. Ako magpa-practice tayo yan. Yes, so, actually, mm -hmm. oh, diba? <laughs> practice tayo. Yes, yes, practice tayo. Chari, what's your uh, final message to our viewers? Okay, so unang-una, maraming maraming salamat po for inviting me. Uh, Ma'am Ida also for making Colette sa akin. <laughs> na, ano, kasi, sabi ko, nahihiya ako mag-share. But sabi niya, hindi. Mag-share ka. <laughs> and also, you know, sa ating, tele, te, uh, sa ating viewers, no, uh, we are responsible for our own health. no. So, we do what we can kung paano natin mabubus yung immune system natin. So, but it's not just physical, uh, mental, emotional, but spiritual as, as well. no. So, remember that God is our ultimate protector and healer. So, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Oh, thank you very much, Charlie. We learned a lot today. And we are going to practice that. Uh, thank you very much. Marami ta mahalang gamot ngayon. At, saka, <laughs> at least, pwede natin ihilang sarili natin by doing all these uh, simple things, but very scientific things. No, Just yes. apply acupressure. So, yes. Tee? Very true indeed, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Chari, you truly gave us many helpful and uh, healthful ways of healing at home. Um, and of course, again, thank you very much, ma'am, for being with us. Uh, a, a quick message to our alumni, to our fellow alumni, you can also follow us on Facebook at USD Alumni Association Incorporated. Visit our website at usdalumniassociation.org. All of the episodes of Bridges are found on YouTube. So in case you miss on an episode, you can search for Bridges on YouTube. Support our Thamashian Alumni Exchange community, the TAC Exchange, which is our online market where Thamashian sellers and buyers do meet. Contact us on Facebook. Uh, the poster will be flashed on screen. And um, you can see there, it's called the TAC Exchange. And meron tayo mga iba-ibang gamit para sa inyong lahat. Uh, one of this is Cargasus, which is a book, if I'm not mistaken. Bukod pa dyan, meron din tayo mga Katinko products, souvenir items, and we also have beautifully, beautifully painted, uh, we have uh, beautifully painted bayongs by Thamashian artists. Now take note, aside from that, we also have one gallon of alcohol for sale and the Advocate t-shirts are coming very, very soon. Please remember though that for every purchase you make from the TAC Exchange, you also donate to the USD AAI Advocacy for quality education, disaster response, and environmental sustainability. Individuals who'd like to purchase any of these items, you may contact Ms. Ces San Juan at 0917-596-0742. Okay, and of course, congratulations to the Faculty of Medicine and Surgery and the Faculty of Pharmacy on the occasion of their sesquicentennial celebration. Yes. Congratulations the 150 outstanding alumni of the Faculty of Pharmacy. And of course, the USD AAI hails with gratitude our frontliners in the different hospitals here in Metro Manila. 
The USDAAI, through its advocacy committee, headed by engineer Jerry Alfante and Miss Angie Toason, uh, gives them simple appreciation, token of appreciation. Uh, sa ating mga bida ng pandemya, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And uh, if eventually or very, very soon, please watch for the launching of the USD AAI uh, Art Competition on Environmental Sustainability. Thank you very much, Marie Pe Yang, uh, because you are the one responsible for our posters. Maraming salamat, Atelier. And thank you, of course, to Mahalta Resorts and Convention Center. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng Mahalta, Mangyan, Halcon, and Tamaro. Ang ganda ng pangalan. Uh, wow. Mahalta Resorts and Convention Center. Thank you to all the officers, members, and volunteers of the USD AAI. Let's continue dreaming, weaving, and believing, and inspiring. And of course, thank you to the CBRC administration and staff. Toki? Here at Bridges, we do not build walls. We build connections, connections of people and knowledge. And here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great week ahead. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Mabuhay.